Over the red line, over the blue line, right circle, Pasternak, pull and drag, shoots, he scores! What a crafty move by David Pasternak! What comes to mind when you think of a professional athlete's lifestyle? It could be expensive cars, lavish mansions, and designer clothing. But what if we told you that Boston Bruins star David Pasternak's lifestyle is anything but typical? Despite being among the highest paid players in the NHL, Pasternak lives a modest and unassuming life off the ice. In this video, we'll look at Pasternak's lifestyle and how he stays grounded in the glitz and glam of professional sports. Prepare to be surprised and inspired by this extraordinary athlete's way of life. Background, Family Life, and Career David Pasternak was born in Havarov, Czech Republic on May 25, 1996 to parents Milan and Marcella Pasternak. Jakub is his older brother, Milan, Pasternak's father, wanted him to play ice hockey. This is why he started practicing and training so hard, hoping to make it as a hockey player for his father. He grew up playing hockey in the Czech Republic where he honed his skills and developed his craft. Pasternak began his career as a young teenager in the Czech Extraliga, where he quickly established himself. However, the Czech Extraliga is not the best place to prepare for the NHL. Before their draft years, most native Czech players leave the country. Pasternak is regarded as a Canadian major junior. However, he was wary due to his size. Pasternak weighed only 150 pounds and was more spindly than most of his peers at the time. The CHL has no mercy for anyone. Skinny Europeans are no different. Pasternak identified Sotertalia in Sweden's second division as an appropriate proving ground for the 2012-2013 season when he was 16. In the Czech Republic's under-18 league in 2011-2012, Pasternak led all players with 41 goals and 68 points. On July 15, 2014, Pasternak signed a three-year entry-level deal with the Boston Bruins after being selected with the number 25 overall pick in the 2014 NHL entry draft. Pasternak became the 25th player in Bruins history to score all four goals in a win over the Anaheim Ducks on October 14, 2019. Pasternak scored 20 goals in the 2020-2021 season, bringing his career total to 200 in regular season play. On May 29, 2021, he scored a hat trick to give the Boston Bruins a 1-0 series lead in the second round of the playoffs against the New York Islanders. Compared to the narrower 85-foot Canadian rinks, the style of hockey played on the 100-foot wide rink would be less physically aggressive, and Sweden is closer to home. In 36 games during his rookie season, he had 12 goals and 17 assists. We should mention that he was a U-20 league. Pasternak was overjoyed, and he returned to Södertälje for the 2013-2014 season, his draft year. He was limited to 36 games because he suffered a concussion while cutting through the middle of the ice. That one was painful. It's time to talk about his NHL career and accomplishments. Because of the injury and his weight, just 167 pounds, NHL teams would be hesitant to take a chance on him in the draft. However, after 24 teams said no, the Bruins said yes to Pasternak on June 27, 2014. He signed a three-year, $2,775,000 entry-level contract after bulking up to 194 pounds. He made his NHL debut for the Boston Bruins in 2015, scoring his first NHL goal in only his third game. He has since become a mainstay of the Bruins' offense. In 2018, he broke Wayne Gretzky's record for the youngest player in NHL history by scoring six points in a single playoff game. During the 2018-19 season, Pasternak made his NHL Winter Classic debut against the Chicago Blackhawks, scoring a goal in a 4-2 victory. Pasternak was named to his first National Hockey League All-Star game on January 2nd. The Boston Bruins, all-time leader in goals scored before the age of 23 is Pasternak, who surpassed Barry Peterson in a game against the Philadelphia Flyers on January 16, 2019. Pasternak won the accuracy shooting category at the 2019 NHL All-Star Skills Competition, hitting five targets in just 11.309 seconds. On January 31st, Pasternak scored two goals, including his 30th of the season, to become the first player in Bruins history to have three 30-plus goal seasons before the age of 23, passing Bobby Orr, Cam Neely, and Barry Peterson. However, after scoring 66 points in the first half of the season, 
Pasternak injured a tendon in his left thumb and was ruled out for two weeks. Pasternak's left thumb tendon had healed sufficiently for his return to NHL play by March 19th, and in his fifth game back on March 27th, he scored his third career hat trick, his latest coming against the New York Rangers with two assists in setting a career high five point night. On the way to 6 3 Bruins home ice victory, Pasternak had a breakout season in 1819, scoring 38 goals and assisting on 43 others. He was named to the NHL's second All Star team after finishing fourth in scoring in the league. Pasternak and the Bruins advanced to the Stanley Cup Finals but could not secure the cup. He led the NHL in goal scoring the following year, earning him the prestigious Maurice Rocket Richard Trophy as the league's top goal scorer, but no one expected him to reach unprecedented heights in 2023. He capped off this historic regular season with three goals against the Flyers on April 9th. He capped off a two-on-one rush with his third hat trick of the season, his 60th goal and the 300th of his career. His Recent Contracts and Brand Deals Since his rookie contract, David Pasternak has signed two major contract extensions with the Boston Bruins. In the 16-17 season, he set career highs in all categories and became the youngest player to win the Zlatohokeshka award. In doing so, Bruins GM Don Sweeney announced a six-year $40 million contract extension. Pasternak was having the season of a lifetime as the six-year extension ended. Don Sweeney had no choice but to renew his contract, only this time it was for eight years and worth $90 million. At $11,250,000, he has the sixth highest cap hit in the league. And as we all know, money brings controversy, but we'll get there eventually. He also appeared in a humorous Duncan commercial, which by chance had some great comedic timing. But this could be his best work yet. He makes his pasta. Yes, you heard that correctly. He collaborated with Stop and Shop and proceeds benefiting Dana-Farber's pediatric cancer research and the Jimmy Fund. Aside from that, his only significant endorsement is with Bauer Hockey. Now that we know how much money he makes, how does he spend it? Real quick, if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe as it helps out the channel a lot. Pasternak maintains a low profile off the ice, but he enjoys fashion and has a decent car collection. He posed with a Porsche 911, which had a custom vinyl wrap. This vehicle has a hefty price tag of $106,000. He also owns a BMW i8 worth approximately $147,000. In 2020, he won the NHL's Best Dressed Award, narrowly defeating Austin Matthews. In addition, he received a Honda CRV after being named MVP of the NHL All-Star Game in 2020. However, he gave it to a Tufts Medical Center nurse to express his gratitude for the many frontline healthcare heroes who will be honored in 2020. Looking into his personal life. In 2013, while playing for Sweden, Pasternak received a phone call from his mother. Milan, his father had died. His father was a professional hockey player in Germany and the Czech Republic. In 1998, he led a team that included future Bruin Dennis Siedenberg as the leading scorer. David Pasternak is friends with Patriots alum Julian Edelman and attends Celtics games in Boston. Boston has become a second home for his mother and brother, who visit every Christmas. Since their relationship began in July 2018, he's been dating Rebecca Ralston and have caused some waves in David Pasternak's career. Pasternak was chastised in 2020 for violating COVID protocols by skating in a public rink with several other NHL players during the league's break. He apologized for his actions and was not disciplined by the NHL. His only other dispute occurred in 2016. He was suspended for two games and fined $10,277.78 for illegally hitting Dan Girardi in the head. But we all know Pasternak means well. He's a people guy and one of the league's most likable players. He's frequently seen interacting with fans and handing out hockey sticks. You're curious about his net worth at this point and as previously stated, Pasternak signed a lucrative eight-year contract worth $90 million, expected to increase his overall value. This is in addition to the $40 million he earned from his previous two agreements and excludes endorsement deals. As a result, his impressive net worth is now worth a whopping $30 million. David Pasternak's unconventional lifestyle may have surprised you, but it's a welcome reminder that success doesn't have to be defined by material possessions. 
So what values do you believe athletes should uphold in their personal lives? And how do you think these values can affect their performance on the field? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the next one.